completely away, but almost away. And so I said to my doctor, I'm 76. I want to live before I die. I want to live full. I want to, I want to cry. I want to sob. I want to love. I want to live. And on antidepressants, it's like half of me is dead walking through life. So she said, well, you know, sounds like we need to change your medications. No, I don't want to be, I'm 76 years old. I want to live. Putting me on a different antidepressant is not going to do it. So anyway, I went off the antidepressants. I weaned myself off. And as I try to experience what's going on in my body and in my mind and stuff. After a couple of weeks of being off, I was watching Steve Wilkos of all things. And his program is all about exposing child abusers, uh, pedophilia, incest, that sort of thing. And I wound up crying for the first time, like tears coming out of my eyes. And that had not been happening. And that was so relieving. Such a wonderful feeling. Yeah. yeah, it's not the tears; it's the relief that you yeah. feel when you're letting all that go. Within a few weeks later, I was moving this bookcase from over there to over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be moving bookcases. Yeah, yeah. it's it's bad for your body. Yeah, but but yeah, the no energy yeah. that I was being given back was like wow, you know, energy. Another couple of nights go by, and I'm having trouble sleeping. And I think to myself, you know, used to be when I was married, you just have sex, and then you go right to sleep. As mm -hmm. soon as that thought hit my head, I had this wave of pleasure. Oh. S sexual pleasure. Wow. That's I have good. never had that. Oh. In my life, I have never had that. It's been one of my struggles. So, had I not gotten depressed... Had I not insisted on going off the medication, had I not went off it anyway, I wouldn't be in this position where I experience this pleasure that I'm receiving from my illness. Oh, wow. Oh. So if you keep looking for the positive things for you and for her, because there's positive behind the stroke, I guarantee it, but you won't find it if you don't look for it. And if you're focused on how bad it is and how terrible it is and, and how that's awful, what you see. Yeah. You you're going to that's going to Thank you for sharing that with me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it. Did it help? Yes. Yeah. Oh good. Yes. And when Definitely. she do her art, she she are not in pain. That's why I want to bring her more. But she's time. also expressing her emotions Creative. and yeah. creativity with yeah. the art. Yeah. Um, you know, there's some that vibrancy. Yeah. Um, you know, and yeah. there's it's amazing yeah. how you can do it. There's, With little bees, I know can... this one is like Cheryl. Yeah, the color. I know. The color. That's her. I know. You said that. Yeah. When you saw yeah. That. Yeah. You yeah. Saw that. yeah. You said that. Cheryl. I pick it to bring yeah. you. So, yeah. so you see that amazing, right? Yeah. 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 Well, and it's like when I do the political ones. Right. That helps me express my emotion. Yeah. But if I'm going to do a show, I'm not going to show any of this stuff. Yeah. Not the political ones. Yeah. The because. Party. I don't want any stress or confrontation. Yeah. Right, because some people are really weird with their... Yeah, and I, their thing. I'm not here for that. That's why I, I was going to tell uh -huh. um, Sandra, religion and politics, we stay off yeah. the the table for a while when you... Yeah. Was Sandra the lady at the... Yeah, she had very... Interaction we had. Yeah. I don't know what I said, but she said something about the Bible yeah. and the church would help mm -hmm. our religion. And yeah. I said, well, you know... That's not for me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Religion and politics, you just stay out of a conversation sometimes yeah. because everybody has prejudices against Well, it. you know, and when you get toward the end of your life, mm -hmm. you get to think for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I want to show you more pieces. Oh, you don't mind if I take a tour? Yeah. 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 No, yeah. no, I live for it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's great. She loved to share her work. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at this one, the moon. See more. Wow. You see, I'm so impressed that you have this amazing artist. This is not the right gallery for yeah. this work. Yeah. You know, you should be standing about six foot back. So. Yeah. Right, right, because I'm like, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pleasurable. <laughs> I should. 
But you know, as as a man, I'm like, oh, nice. How do women react to this? Yeah. You know, love that, as, as a man, I'm like, oh, that's a woman's body. Yeah. Well, well, this is a man's body. Uh, yeah. 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 Because in the you beginning, know. I call myself the beaded lady. Oh. This is a beaded lady. Oh. That is not. Uh -huh. But there are certain things that just don't go on a woman's body as well as they would go on a man's body. Mm -hmm. So I had to, I have to do men's bodies sometimes. Because, you know, like, can you imagine, this was my first man's body. Can you see that on a woman's body? It just wouldn't do yeah. the same. Yeah. It's just, yeah. and then one day I have a friend who came over and I had just finished a piece. Um, and I was thinking about finding something other than torsos because when you're putting these little beads on something that's not a flat surface, <laughs> They're rolling all over the place. Yeah. So I was thinking about doing a flat Do you piece. have an instrument that you use? Mm. Because that is so meticulous. Yeah, no. It's just, yeah. you know, there's got to be, oh gosh. The, the fish, the book. Yeah, the, the way you. Well, I'll show you. I'll give you a yeah. little preview when we yeah, get back. Yeah, but you're, you're pretty unique. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. Well, I created the technique and everything. Nobody yeah. else does this. Yeah, that's why. But when I met Thomas, one of his first questions was, oh, my God, where do you sell? I don't. Yeah, that's right. I'm in pain. I don't want to sell. Yeah. I don't want to move. I don't yeah. want to pack. I don't, you help. know, but I can, little THC in marijuana, Yeah. I can oh. work for 30 oh. minutes straight oh. <laughs> without pain. Yeah. Uh, so, and when I do my work, I go someplace else in my head. So I'm not focused on pain. Yeah. But if I have to set up a street fair and pack my van and yeah. unpack it. Yeah, so that's why I help her. That's uh, really great Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, that day when we do together, we had so much fun. Remember at your birthday? And people love it. Imelda yeah. and other people, they say, wow. So you he know. had my van packed in one day. And he said, just stand there and tell me what to do. Yeah, I did that. I was like a... Helping her with that. We have fun. And that's how I got Michael to come There's up here. Michael, Michael and Elvis. And Elvis right there. Yeah. Wow, wow. yeah. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Isn't that beautiful? I didn't so know that. So here's my beaded studio. So let me show you a couple of things. Yeah. So this is the glue. Oh, isn't that great? Um, this is easy to show. <laughs> this, this comes in this roll. It comes in different rolls and different sizes. Like this one, uh, Thomas said you want yeah. to do a frame yeah. for yeah. the postcard. Yeah. You can use this wow. you because see. it's just about the right yeah. size. Yeah. I cover the mannequins in these. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. the way I do it, I put that on the mannequin, and then I I draw on the mannequin first, oh. so I can see through the the glue. Oh. So when I peel off. I just peel off maybe four inches square at a time and mm. do it eyeball mm. because I don't want the glue to dry. Yeah. So I just use my razor knife to, you know, to cut that much mm. out. And then when I do do it, if like, this is my skins here. Mm. So I'll take this and I'll, you know, put it and draw it whatever way I want. And then when I'm done, I'll pull the string out. Oh. But then after I'm almost finished with the piece, as I work on it, pieces are falling off because you know, my arm is going on it. So oh. then I have to get my needle and pick them up one at a time. Oh. <laughs> so this is my tool. Oh. <laughs> this is amazing. It's amazing. How did you come up with this? That's part of the tour. Oh. In the 90s, when I was still working, I worked uh, in the corporate world as a mm -hmm. criminal investigator for white collar crime. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not fascinating. And I've always done some sort of artwork. I've just never tried to be professional. But I created this technique that I call fabric collage. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are all these little pieces That's of beautiful. fabric. Yeah, fabric. So what I do is I first design, decide on my design, and then I draw it. But when I draw it, it looks like a paint-by-number kit. So in the drawing is this little squiggly thing, and this little one, and this, 
and then I cut them all out and glue them in place. This is the same thing, except it's beads. So I created this technique in the 90s. Oh. The difference with this glue is that it's not activated until you heat it. So after I, I can put all the pieces in place and they'll stay there, but they're not permanent until I iron them in place with, with the uh, hot iron, which melts the glue. In this one, I don't have to do that because the glue is the adhesive. Amazing. And then she do the Barbie for you. So, so before I came here, I was the Barbie man. <laughs> yeah. And oh. I drive that funny van. Oh. Yeah. And people were approaching me and telling me, we don't want you coming here. Oh. It'll belong in Silverton. Oh. And you should oh. never bring your van downtown and park it downtown. You know, we don't want to see shit like that. So these were some of my pieces. Uh, and I saved some, but I soon went out of business because Barbie is not popular in oh. Silverton. Yeah, so she changed it to be the lady. <laughs> she used to work with Barbie. So this is, when I was in my 50s, I went in for a colonoscopy. I realized at that time that Barbie was 52, and I wondered if she had had hers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Look at well, see, when the people in Silverton who objected, it wasn't just Barbie, it was my sense of humor. Yeah. That was a bit over the top for them. Yeah. But I mean, um, I, I but didn't you know, But Silverton is a little bit more open now, don't you think? Um, now? Yeah. With stew and with everything, uh, was it a little bit more open or no? Well, you, I would have to know a little bit more open than it used to be before the year 2000. I wasn't here, so I don't know. A little bit more open than San Francisco where I lived for 50 something years? No, no, not even close. No. You know, I, I didn't. It was one of the first things that, one of my first lessons to learn about living in uh, a smaller town, yeah. a smaller town, yeah. a redder town, uh, et cetera. Yeah. So, but it's been good. Okay, so this okay. is another, I just kept my favorite pieces when I gave up Barbie. This is God giving Adam a condom. Uh -huh. And <laughs> the condom that I used was so big, uh -huh. if you're thinking about poor Kim, uh -huh. But poor kid, he's born with no testicles at all. So I had to build him a penis. And I had to build him a pretty big penis so that it would fit, really fit in that condom. But in Vallejo, where I had an art gallery, two different women at two different times, they didn't even know each other. Both of them had the same comment after examining this piece for a while. They said, he's not circumcised. <laughs> Okay, you're right. Yes. Here's uh, evolution of a gay man. <laughs> okay. So in here, there's like a little twist, you know, in the yes. DNA. Yes. So but my favorite is this one. So this is the bong chow. Bong chow and spider. Yeah. Yes. Oh. But she did. Yeah. What but is now? this here? Oh, those are my Barbie lady cards. You can take oh. some. This is a, a portrait. Self-portrait. Self-portrait. It's beautiful. I love the blue background. Not beautiful. She did a self-portrait. Mm. It's just amazing how yeah. it's even hard to just draw it. Yeah. And to beat it. Yeah. It's like something else. Yeah, isn't that amazing? You give a picture. Isn't that beautiful? Nice, yeah. right? It's like to draw it is hard. And well, and it takes on sort of a different personality yeah. in beads. I mean, this yes. is yeah, a nice picture, but it's a little flat. Yeah. You know, a little... A sparkle. A little life to it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, this one is like, it's got more personality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It comes out at you. Yeah. And that's what it's doing with all this. Yeah. Here exactly. it's coming out at you. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful... You, you are an artiste. Yeah, amazing. You know? The number one thing, though, is that artists are critical of themselves. Oh, yeah, I know. That's the... 
I have a thing of their thing that you got to say. It's okay. It's wonderful. My um, my sister Lynn is an artist in Tacoma, Washington. I don't have her work. This is my brother.